Hi, uh, I'm Davey Lane and you are watching Speaker TV. There is a kind of preconception about what stuff, what something I would do might sound like. It would probably be, you know, it would be guitar based rock and roll or pop with a kind of, you know, with a throwback to the 60s and 70s kind of thing, which I love and that stuff is still in my blood. I initially started, and more so with the EP that I put out last year, to kind of step away from guitar, like try and write more on, on keyboard and and um, I think a little, yeah, a little more guitar has, has kind of bled into this new record. You know, I, 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 there's no point denying what, you know, I'm a fucking guitar player, so. I, th I think it was more just to kind of, more just, I, I hate to use the word journey, but like it was more just kind of this, um, this extended period, it was probably about a year of just kind of trying to become a better songwriter and trying to, trying to take more care with, with with writing lyrics and um, you know trying to become I'm a pretty ordinary singer so just trying to become a better just just trying to improve all those areas before I I, I, um, I thought I'd kind of um, record with with a view towards releasing something <laughs> weeks ago I got to spend half an hour with Brian May from Queen and he is my all-time favorite guitar player and um, I lost my powers of speech he was lovely I forgot that after after 10 minutes I forgot that I was talking to my all-time guitar hero but probably the most starstruck I've ever been has um, was not with a musician I met David Cross um, who's, who's one of my favorite from he's in Arrested Development and his own show, Mr. Show, from the 90s. And he's, he is one of my favourite... He's probably my favourite comedian. And he's, he's also a UMI fan, and he came to one of our shows. And um, Andy, our bass player and manager, knew he was coming, but didn't tell me because he thought I would, I would freak out. So he, he'd go, oh... David Cross walks through the room. I was like, fuck this, this, fucking, this fucking David, this fucking, this fucking David Cross, fucking hell. And I, I, yeah, he, he, luckily he was really lovely too, in his kind of inimitably spiky kind of way. <laughs> been very privileged in that like you know uh, you and I were a band that I that I really loved growing up so up up until it's like a up until the age of 18 I I, I grew up with you and I and then uh, 18 on I grew up in you and I so you know we shared a lot of amazing experiences together we've supported like we've been down to support our fa favorite bands in the world the like the, the Stones and the Who and met our all-time heroes but all that stuff is great, but I think it, it's it's more the kind of seemingly kind of inconsequential stuff. Like it, it might be just like playing a show to five people in in Cleveland a few years ago, and we it, it ended up being one of the best shows we ever played. We just sat up in the corner of a bar. So it's 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 funny little things like that. I, I've learnt so much from 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 those guys personally, and and from the the, the experience I've had playing in that band that. You know, I wouldn't, I, yeah, well, I obviously wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that. Useless compared to the thrill of being. 